Hey guys, and welcome to Coachable, where I teach Coachable Moments. Today, we're going to talk about Greninja, more specifically his double shuriken build. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to go to Pokemon. So, Greninja, he's a regular attacker, he does ranged damage, and he's an attacker. His passive ability, when you're less than half health, your attack and movement speed are both increased, which is really good because it gives you, you can use your basic attack more, which gives you more chance to use Shuriken. His first skill up is Shuriken. You want to choose Shuriken when it pops. All Shuriken does, it throws water Shurikens in quick succession, which decreases the movement speed of, of opponent Pokemon, and it restores your HP when each Shuriken hits. So if you miss with one Shuriken, it does nothing for you. It also increases your movement speed while you use the move. The upgrade, it increases the number of attacks for this move. So one thing with Shuriken is the cooldown with added onto your basic attack. Each time your basic attack hits the enemy, a second is taken off of Water Shuriken. So if you use things like Red Emblems, you can also you, you can use Water Shuriken more, but it's not necessarily the best option for you. Double Team is the next skill. Double Team, you want to use it as a dash because it is a dash skill. So what it does, it dashes you toward where, wherever you want to go, but also it creates two other Greninjas to kind of fake out the enemy. So it creates kind of like a triangle and then you can dash wherever you want to go. Now we're going to talk about combos. What you want to do first is when you get up to your enemy, of course you want to have your basic attack going, but use Water Shuriken first when you're done with that. Then go to double team so you can dash. Use Water Shuriken again. And then use Eject button so you can dash back and then use Water Shuriken. You can't always do this just because the cooldown with Eject button. But whenever you're headed towards an enemy, use Shuriken first and then dash. So really, you want to save Shuriken or you want to save double team for whenever the enemy gets close to you. You can dash away like that. Now we're going to talk about held items. You want to go with Muscle Band, Scope Lens, and Buddy Barrier. Muscle Band increases the, dam the damage of your basic attacks. Scope Lens increases the basic attack critical hits. And Buddy Barrier is used more as a survival tool because it gives you HP, but also it's a team tool because your teammates get a shield when you use your Unite move. Altogether, the effects, it raises your HP, your critical hit damage, basic attack speed, critical hit rate, and attack. Moving on, we are going to Boosted Emblems. Alright, you want to go with 6 brown, 4 white, 2 blue, and 2 purple. The brown gives you regular attack damage, the white gives you HP, the blue and purple give you defense and special defense, in that order. The effects you really want to focus on increasing are attack, primarily. So HP would be secondary. Try and take away from special attack as much as possible, but you can also take away from defense and special defense since you have the uh, blue and purple emblems to kind of balance that out. Alright guys, that is it for this build breakdown. Let me know what you think about this build down in the comments or if you would change anything about this build. If you want to see more builds, I linked them right here. With nothing else to say, I hope you have a great day.